Cell organization, how your cell is organized, is the topic of today's video. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, making medicine easy and fun. This is a series on physiology, so head on to my playlist and click on physiology to get all of my previous videos. We have talked about the human cell and we have talked about the control systems of your body, homeostasis, etc, etc, etc. So let's get started. Here is my previous video, make sure to watch it before this one, please. As you know, protoplasm is everything included inside of the cell membrane, divided into nucleoplasm and cytoplasm, made of five things, water and electrolytes, lipid, carbs and proteins. Cytoplasm, everything included in the cell membrane except for the nucleus. It contains the cytosol and organelles, tiny organelles like these. Cytosol is the area of the cytoplasm that's not held by organelles. Cytoplasm minus organelles equals cytosol. So the protoplasm is cytoplasm plus nucleoplasm. Cytoplasm is cytosol plus organelles. The protoplasm is made of water, electrolytes, proteins, lipids, and carbohydrates. And this is, of course, the cell membrane. 80% of the protoplasm is water except fat cells of the adipose tissue or your fat tissue because fat and water do not mix so do not expect to find water inside of these fat cells. Proteins make up around 15%. We have two types of protein, structural proteins which are immobile and functional proteins which are mobile. Structural such as cytoskeleton and functional such as your enzymes. So if this is the cell membrane like here, there are integral proteins spanning the entire length of the cell membrane. These integral proteins provide entrants forming pores and channels for molecules to pass through. Now let's turn our attention to electrolytes. If you are a sports guy, you have heard of water with electrolytes that you pick up off the shelf to drink and rehydrate and replete yourself after running a marathon. So what are electrolytes? They are substances that produce ions when dissolved in water. Perfect, so we will have positive ions called cations and negative ions called anions. Example, we have the sodium chloride and it will give us positive ion of sodium and negative ion of chloride. Major electrolytes in your body are sodium, potassium, chloride, calcium, magnesium, bicarbonate, and phosphate. Very cool. So, sodium is the main ion in the extracellular fluid, potassium is the main ion in the intracellular fluid, as you know. We have talked about water, we have talked about proteins, let's talk about fat or lipids. They are insoluble in polar solvents such as water, but they are soluble in fat or nonpolar solvents such as cholesterol, phospholipids, and proteolipids. What's the difference between proteolipids and lipoproteins? Let me know in the comment section. Lipids are insoluble in water, so let's use them to form a barrier between the outer environment, which is made of water, and the inner environment of the cell, which is made of water. Oh, so let's make the cell membrane of lipids to separate the water outside of the cell and the water inside of the cell. That's why your cell membrane is a phospholipid membrane made of phospholipids and some cholesterol. Very good. How about the nuclear membrane? Same thing, a lipid bilayer. How about the mitochondrial membrane? Same thing, lipid bilayer to separate the water outside from the water inside. But what about fat cells? Fat cells have triglycerides. More than 90% of fat cells is triglyceride. They are also known as neutral fat. Why fat cells? Why have them? They are the storage unit for energy, your body's most valuable inventory. We have talked about water, electrolytes, and lipids. Now let's talk about carbohydrates. So we have carbohydrates such as glycoprotein. Glyco means carb, such as glucose, glyco, galactose, glyco, and protein. So these proteins have undergone post-translation modification, especially glycosylation. 
adding carbohydrates to the protein to form glycoproteins. Glycoproteins are integral membrane proteins, which makes them structural, not functional proteins. Some hormones are glycoproteins, such as FSH, LH, TSH, human chorionogranin, tropane, alpha fetoprotein, and the famous erythropoietin that I've talked about in my hematology lectures. Some enzymes are glycoproteins, such as the famous alkaline phosphatase, which I've talked about it in a separate video, so make sure to check that video. There are two forms of carbohydrates, the simple glucose and the complex glycogen. Glucose provides a readily available form of energy for instance, instant use by the cell. Very cool. How about glycogen? It's the storage form. It's the a polymer of glucose. If you'd like to convert it to the readily available glucose, please undergo depolymerization of this glycogen. Glycogen by depolymerization gives us glucose. That's it for today. I'm posting 101 questions until the end of this year, 2018. So I would like to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard.